This is your primetime forecast for East Alabama and West Georgia from Dr. Don's Weather. Dr. Don's Weather is made possible by the Randolph County Commission, First Light Coffee, Roger Bell Auto Brokers, Southern Auction Solutions, Genesis Swake Clinic, Jimmy Stevens Construction, Anchor Roofing, The Town of Wadley, Auction 431 South, The Salem Auction House, and Bama Diesel Repair. From the Alpha Weather Center, powered by Boondocks Barbecue and Creamery, Southern Union State Community College, and the venue at Five Points Farms. Here's Dr. Don. Now let's turn the microphone on so you can hear me. Good morning, East Alabama and West Georgia. Time now for your primetime forecast for Thursday, June 13th, 2024. And we have got a hot weather forecast on the way for you. But first, thank you, Mr. Jimmy Stevens of Jimmy Stevens Construction at 256-610-1364. Get in touch with Jimmy Stevens for all of your construction needs across East Alabama. He'll take care of you. Good, honest uh, work. He's going to be uh, straightforward with you. He's going to give you the best deal possible. And he does fantastic work. So, Contact Jimmy Stevens today and also, yeah, save money with Jamie Dukas. Get your ducks in a row with Dukas. With Alpha Insurance, you can contact Jamie by clicking the link at the top of the video, scan the QR code, or call Jamie at 256-831-7770. Be sure and tell Mr. Jimmy and Jamie that Dr. Don's Weather sent you. All right, let's take a look at what's going on with the weather. Before we do that, though, let me remind you to head over to our YouTube channel and subscribe. Click that little bell so that when we go live to cover severe weather, you'll be guaranteed to get that notification. Now let's talk about some weather. Slight chance of an afternoon rumble of thunder this afternoon. No big deal. Most of you won't see any rain today, but... Just know there is a slight chance we could see a shower creep into the area later on this afternoon. And then we're turning up the heat. I'm talking about uh, unprecedented heat for this time of year. Maybe we break some records over the weekend. We're talking the actual air temperature making it into the mid to upper 90s by Saturday. And our heat index values will hit 105 or more. It is going to be dangerously heat, uh, hot out there uh, with lots of heat. And uh, right now, the Weather Service is telling us there's a pretty good chance we're going to go under a heat advisory on Saturday. Sunday will be a hot day as well, but not maybe as quite as warm as what we'll see on Saturday. So plan accordingly. If you're going to be out on the area lakes, if you're going to be outdoors, Make sure you drink plenty of liquid. We're talking about water. <laughs> no other types of liquid. Doesn't mix well with the heat. So uh, be careful if you're going to be outside. And, you know, it's not unusual for us to see this kind of heat here in the southeast, but it is unusual to see this kind of heat this early uh, in uh, mid-June. Normally it's July and August and even into September before we see this kind of stuff. So be extremely careful if you're going to be outdoors over the next uh, several days across the area. Taking a look at severe possibilities, uh, you know, there could be one or two strong thunderstorms this afternoon across East Alabama or West Georgia, but overall severe weather, organized severe weather, uh, is not anticipated this afternoon. Let's take a look at the tropics. Get a little action going on out there. The first area we're going to talk about is off of the Florida Atlantic coast, offshore of the southeastern United States. An elongated area of low pressure near the east coast of Florida is producing a large area of disorganized showers and thunderstorms. Despite strong upper level winds, some gradual development is possible while the system moves northeastward offshore of the southeastern U.S. coast during the next couple of days. Regardless of development, heavy rainfall is forecast to continue across portions of the Florida Peninsula through late this week. And then the second area of concern is down in the Gulf of Mexico, uh, down along the Mexican coast. Southwestern Gulf of Mexico, a broad area of low pressure is forecast to form over the southwestern Gulf this weekend. Environmental conditions appear conducive 
for gradual development of this system and a tropical depression could form during the earlier middle part of next week while it moves slowly westward or west-northwestward. Formation chances through 48 hours remain very low. However, looking out through seven days, the National Hurricane Center is giving it a 40% chance of developing into a tropical storm. Now, this looks like it's going to be a Mexico or southern Texas issue if it does develop. Uh, right now, it doesn't look likely that it would get up into the central Gulf or uh, affect uh, Mississippi, Alabama, or Georgia. This looks more of a, like I said, uh, maybe a southern Texas, northern Mexico type storm if it does form out there. But nonetheless, if you missed our forecast yesterday morning, I told you I, I went through a webinar on Tuesday, uh, which was presented by the National Weather Service out of Peachtree City, and it was a tropical um, a hurricane tropical update uh, looking at what we think is going to happen this hurricane season. And I got to tell you, the outlook is bleak. Um, I mean, this could be an extremely active hurricane season, and it could um, could be a problem for us. So uh, it's been kind of quiet so far, <clears throat> but things are beginning to change as we're seeing these two systems out there now. Make sure you're prepared to deal with tropical storms. That's normally what we have to do across East Alabama and West Georgia. Uh, typically, it is, you know, September uh, before we really get in uh, to the height of the season. But our ocean temperatures are already as warm as uh, they typically get in September. Uh, so we could see things really fire up out there in the tropics a lot sooner this year than we typically do. Just make sure you are prepared. Uh, let's uh, take a look at the current conditions at the venue at Five Points Farms in Northeast Chambers County. 66 degrees out there this morning. No wind to speak of. The humidity is 94%. The barometric pressure, 29.95. Dew point 65. The high temperature yesterday was warm in the afternoon, 87.8. We do have cloudy skies out there this morning. Sunrise at 5.30 and the sun sets this evening at 7.52 p.m. Hot day on the way. We'll make it to 90 in Roanoke, 92 in Franklin, 89 up there in Carrollton. We'll hit 89 also in Lafayette and Alexander City. We'll top out at 91 degrees this afternoon. Six-day forecast from the Alpha Weather Center. Jamie Dukas, your local Alpha agent. 20% chance of a shower this afternoon. Most of you, you won't see a drop of rain today. 90 will be the high, down to 70 for your overnight low tonight. And then here comes the heat. Friday, 95 degrees. 98 on Saturday. Some locations will most likely make it to 100 on Saturday. Heat index values will be over 100, probably approaching 105 or 106. And a heat advisory may be required on Saturday. Sunday, uh, we're going to hit 95 again, but we'll introduce a 20% chance of a scattered afternoon thunderstorm. I'll maintain that on Sunday night and a 30, 20 to 30% chance of rain on Monday and Tuesday. Scattered afternoon variety thunderstorms as we start your next week. Southern Union State Community College Live Doppler HD radar showing that mess down there across Florida and the tropical rains that continue, most of which now have pulled offshore and uh, are out to sea 30, 40 miles uh, just out uh, south of Charleston, South Carolina, and moving up toward the Outer Banks of North Carolina. Though a few showers do continue down across the Florida Peninsula, just south of Tampa, and then on down into the Miami-Dade area and the Key West area. But as you can see, across East Alabama and West Georgia at this hour, we are dry with no precipitation in the area at this time. Make sure you support us by going to the Dr. Don Weather Store and purchasing a Dr. Don coffee cup, a baseball cap, and a t-shirt. You need all three. Some of the proceeds uh, go back to help support us here at Dr. Don's Weather. You may have noticed uh, recently uh, we have done a tremendous amount of work on our signal to help with the resolution so that you can see the maps and the radars very well. And 
Uh, I know most of you watch us on your smartphone, uh, so we've really put a lot of work into making things look better, increase the quality and the resolution of our signal so that you can see what's going on as well as here. Uh, And and there's cost involved in that. So I certainly hope that uh, you will take time to support us. And and we have multiple different ways for you to do that. You can go purchase an item. You can send us Facebook stars uh, at the top of the video on Facebook and at the bottom of the uh, video on YouTube. Uh, There are multiple links there on how you can support us. And uh, we, we appreciate everything you can do. Now, if you just cannot, absolutely cannot afford to support us financially, I understand we're in a rough time right now. Um, One of the things you can do that doesn't cost you a dime is share us with your friends and ask your friends to share with their friends and like us, follow us, uh, give us clicks. That helps us out tremendously as well on both Facebook and YouTube. So help us out every chance you get. We greatly appreciate it. And we'll be able to continue to bring you the weather coverage you deserve across East Alabama and West Georgia. Enjoy your Thursday. Good Lord willing, and the creek don't rise. We'll see you back in here first thing tomorrow morning with your Friday morning edition of your primetime forecast on Dr. Don's Weather. This has been your primetime forecast for East Alabama and West Georgia from the Alpha Weather Center, powered by Southern Union State Community College, the venue at Five Points Farms and Boondocks Barbecue and Creamery. Dr. Don's Weather is supported by the Randolph County Commission, First Light Coffee, Roger Bell Auto Brokers, Southern Auction Solutions, Genesis Sweet Clinic, Jimmy Stevens Construction, Anchor Roofing, The Town of Wadley, Auction 431 South, The Salem Auction House, and Bama Diesel Repair. Be sure to like us on Facebook, share us with all of your friends, and subscribe to Dr. Don's Weather on YouTube. We will be back tomorrow morning with another edition of your primetime forecast on Dr. Don's Weather.